everybody. Uh, welcome to our MOA Kids Activities Friday Mad Libs edition number five. Um, today is uh, analyzing, recording of some artifacts that uh, Maria will be doing. And as always, we, or I, <laughs> will be requesting um, words, um, mostly verbs and nouns today. There wasn't as many adjectives in my story for the, for the week. So, um, our Mad Lib, again, is a story that, um, uh, is about a paragraph long. Um, and we take out some of the parts of speech, mostly nouns, verbs, adverbs, adjectives, and we replace them with random words and the results are rarely make sense <laughs> and are always funny. So if you would like to send me in today um, verbs and nouns for the most part and then we will fill in our net or fill in our uh, mad libs. I seem to have oh I haven't turned my sound down here oops. There we go. Um, I seem to have a construction zone going on upstairs for the last hour. I think it's gonna stay that way. Hopefully not forever. So hopefully it's not too loud for you guys. Um, all right, so some verbs and some nouns. Uh, send them my way. I'll refresh my computer here since it doesn't like to show me things on my screen while I'm filming. I don't know why. If anybody does know why, let me know, that'd be cool. Um, all right, so some nouns and some verbs to start filling in our, oh, can you not hear me? Well, maybe you can, no, it's on, all right. Oh, you can't hear the noise. Gotcha. Okay, that's good. All right, so I've got one noun of pizza. So we'll put pizzas in our first noun. First noun is a plural noun, so I'll make that pizzas. And just keep them coming. Nouns and verbs for the most part today. Nouns and verbs. I've got a few other things, but that's for the most part what we've got. All right. Oh, I've got some. All right. Running. Oh, and you want know, to have a verb with a with an ing. I'm going to put running in that spot. Change my pen. There we go. And I was flying. Where's another verb? So I'm going to put flew. Just going to switch our tense on that one. Um, I see taco. That sounds fun. Taco. Um, oh, I do have a, I do have one or two adjectives. So you can throw me a couple adjectives too. Um, jump, verb, jump. What else do we have? They're actually coming up today. This is crazy. I didn't do anything. <laughs> virus. Plural nouns. The viruses. Viruses. And what else do we have? More nouns and verbs. One or two adjectives, if you wanna throw an adjective out there. Colorful. Colorful will work. And some more nouns. So nouns again are per people, places, or things. A rainbow is a good example of a noun. It is a thing. Comfortable. Oh, do we have a comfort? You, I don't, um, let me see. Any more? Here's one. Comfortable. An adjective. Comfortable. Comfortable. And bread. That sounds good. Uh, plural noun. Bread. There's bread. That's not, that's not a noun. That's a verb. So erase that. Okay. Plural noun. Bread. Bread is kind of plural in itself. Maisie. 
Oh, I don't know if that fits in here. here. Um, butterfly. Butterfly. Let's see here. What else we got? Oh, these are actually moving today. What's the difference? Who knows? All right. What else do I have? Mexico. Mexico's a proper noun, so I'm not sure. But we could have an adjective. Hmm. I think we've used up our adjectives. What else do we have? Throw me some more nouns and some more verbs. Um, and I do need a singular adverb, which is our word that describes a uh, word that describes a verb. So an action word. So verbs, action words, and nouns. And I think that's pretty much what we need for today. Verbs and nouns. Different, different verbs and different nouns. I've got a mix of things that are coming up and things that aren't. Um, all right, fast. Fast is an adverb, is an adjective. Truck. Uh, trucks. I think we have trucks in a lot of them. Um, uh, verb consider. Um, but here, that'll work. And what else do we have? Awkwardly. Oh, I like that one for the adverb. Awkward. That works. That's good. Candle. Let's put that here. And nice adjective. Do I need any more adjectives? Uh, do, do, do. No. Now, nouns and verbs. Now, I think we're pretty much just down to nouns and verbs. So banana is one. Bananas. I have a plural spot here. And trip. Oh, you can definitely trip here. Thank you, everybody. What else do we have? Um, keep them coming. Nouns and verbs. We need a few more of each. Make sure I'm not missing any. We need a few more nouns and a few more verbs. Walk. Walk. Museum. Good one. Frog. Oh, we're actually working today. Didn't change anything. A teacup. I like it. Spoon. Spoons. Oh, that's a plural one. Collapse. Collapse. Duh. Right here. All right. Keep, com keep on coming. Thread. Thread. Let's see what else. What do we need? Verb. Verb, verb. So I just need three more verbs. Dig is one. And two more verbs. And we'll have completed our whole thing here. Did I miss any? No. Three more verbs. Sorry, two more verbs. We're down to two more verbs. Collude. <laughs> Colluded. All right, and our and one more past verb, and then our story will be complete, and we'll get to hear it. So one more verb. Scratch, scratched. All right, excellent job, everyone. Now it's time. My favorite part when we get to read the story. So the story is called analyzing. So we're analyzing and recording in um, today's installment of Mary's adventures as a archeologist. Um, so Mary sat down to jump the pizzas they had found for the day, including the colorful piece of taco that she herself had flown out of the dirt. She began by running the artifacts from the rainbow. So the pottery viruses, the animal bread, and all the other trucks were in like groups. 
then she tripped a pencil and the bananas she needed to walk to ensure the museum, the artifacts held, wasn't dug. It should be dug. On the form, she considered all that she knew about the thread shirt, the color of the frog, its butterfly and weight, and the candles of lines and spoons that made up the teacup. Sorry, the teacup's decoration. Then she collapsed the shirt with its own comfortable number and put it awkwardly in a bag. Lastly, she colluded to the side, ready to be scratched. Sorry, she colluded it to the side, ready to be scratched. So that is our story um, that we wrote together. This is the original story, which should make hopefully a little bit more sense. It turned out quite good today, our version, I think. Um, so Mary sat down to record the artifacts they had found for the day, including the small piece of pottery that she herself had pulled out of the dirt. She began by sorting the artifacts from the square so the pottery pieces, the animal bones, and all the other artifacts were in light groups. Then she collected a pencil and the forms that she needed to fill out to ensure the information the artifacts held wasn't lost. On the form, she recorded all that she knew about the pottery shirt, the color of the clay, its size and weight, and the pattern of lines and dots that made up the vessel's decoration. Then she assigned the shirt with its own catalog number and put it safely in a bag. Lastly, she placed it to the side, ready to be photographed. So that's the, that's the real story. But as always, our weird and crazy and wild versions that make relatively no sense at all are a lot of fun too. So, um, thank you very much for joining me to write a story for our Friday Mad Libs. And um, once again, if you're enjoying our uh, live talks and our MOA Kids activities, um, feel free and um, we will be very appreciative if you donate to our website and you can find the links on our, on our main page. And we will be back on Monday with our Building of a Longhouse, Wednesday, we're gonna talk about some amphibians, Friday, another Mad Libs, and on Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. again, we will have uh, more uh, talks from the people at MOA. So thank you very much and have a great week weekend and stay safe, everybody. Bye.